Ah, holy fucking Mary, mother of sweet Jesus. I didn't know the fucking camera was on. Anyways, how you doing? So, uh, I was thinking about something, right? No on TV, welcome to my crib. Now, you might be thinking, right? Mr. Sheep, you've been on a hell of a long hiatus. Like, you haven't uploaded for seven fucking months. Like, what, what happened? Now? And to that, you gotta say, shut the fuck up, mate. Do you know how long it takes to make a fucking YouTube video? No, you fucking don't, right? You have to put in all the work, all the effort, and everyone who knows me, farewell knows that I don't have any of those two things now. Thought I might interest you in a house tour, as uh, we just moved and just wanted to show around the, all the new arrangements. Show you around the old gaff of mine. Anyways, so we're at the old gaff of mine now. Don't get jealous. So now you're already thinking. The doctor sheep. Jeez, is this fucking uh, Beverly Hills or Silicon Valley or some shit? I'd be like, no, but thanks for the compliment. Anyway, dear sir, madam, still greatly appreciated. Then you might also be asking, well, Dr. Sheeple, how are you able to put out so much money to afford this awful nice dwelling of yours? Uh, the answer to that is, it's none of your fucking business, no. The actual answer is, I can't tell you how much money I paid for it exactly, but I can tell you that you definitely had to peck out a lot of shekels for it. You know, it just goes to show that it's a small price to pay for, you know, to live in such luxurious living arrangements. Just, I mean, just wait until I show you the inside of it. We're at the front of the house already, the luxury is overwhelming you. These are the front door gates. So if you get in here, here are the living quarters. As you can see, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all, right? And all for the price of a rubber and a shoelace. I mean, two million grand. Shite, I had a little, uh, I had a little uh, speech skip there. So uh, again, as I said, we have everything we need, heat and pipes, Gucci, wheel, crepes, two grand, bought and enjoyed. We got the table of essentials here, jerry can, half full jar of whatever the fuck's in there, some dirty water I assume. Got another one of these, except it's a bigger jar this time, uh, some whiskey. Right, uh, it's like aged pirate room. Uh, it's been here since 1776. Light bulb, uh, truck light, car light, a car engine piece, uh, fishing rod, uh, in case I need uh, some uh, some food for the gaff to stay uh, nutrition. You know, nutrition in shape, whatever the fuck you need food for these days. Uh, speaking of food, right, you might be asking yourself. Jeez, Mr. Sheep, what the fuck do you even eat around here? Well, to that i got to say, it's the food cabinet. Now, as you can see, if you have two working eyes, it is fair empty. Right? But of course it is, because to that i got to say, right, apart from that absolutely delicious looking jar of ketchup, right, I I'm already, I'm already spitting up just looking at it. My favourite snack. Uh, it is pretty empty around here, i got to say, yes. But uh, for a man of not as fierce of an appetite as myself, uh, this is more than enough, for me at least, to sustain a fair good diet. Guts, if I say so myself. And here's uh, my rope for uh, emergency purposes. Right, uh... I have a suicidal midget alien living in my house, if you didn't know. Uh, you might be thinking to yourself, uh, Jesus Christ, the, the, the absolute lack of walls in this house. It's, it's a nice house and everything, but where are the walls gone? Where are they hiding? And to that I gotta say, well, what do I need walls for? Keeping out the cold. What do I need to keep out the cold for? I ain't scared of the wind. The wind is scared of me. Alright. So uh, I'm tired of making you jealous now, so we're going to the old gaff of mine that I had to move out from. Uh, so uh, goodbye 
uh, emergency rope, goodbye, uh, uh, cabinet essentials, uh, I'm signing out. Alright, let's go, come on. All the way here to show you my old gaff. See, this is where we used to live. Right. Uh, now, for a first, from the first look, you can tell, uh, yeah, it's not really spacious, but it's all we really had. Uh, see, I, I, I'll even show you around who and what. So it's my in my part of the place where the father and mother lived, father, and uh, this used to be our uh, common, uh, co a common area, mess hall. Uh, it's the big, uh, biggest one of the bunch, right? Three rooms. See so a hallway in there, bathrooms in there, living room, everything we needed. But we but we realised, as I said, not really spacious. So we moved into our, the gaff that we have now, and I gotta say, we made a right choice. So this is the old store in the new town of mine, but unlike any other store that sells all the essentials, bread, water, uh, this store only sells Kirk Douglas's used methamphetamines. Only Kirk Douglas's used methamphetamines. So if you need to stock up on your daily batch, you know where to go. Ever since we moved out, we lost our shower privileges. But at least we've upgraded from having to shower in a polluted lake to uh, showering from a underground water hole, so I think the landlord for that now. Jeez, that was a rip. And now, I hope you enjoyed this stupid fucking barn video. Because I for sure know I fucking didn't. And uh, see you next time when I'm doing some, when I'm up to some other stupid shit. Would you shut the fuck up, will you? Anyways, peace out, cunts.